we gotta try something new. Canopy, I guess, because I haven't seen that. Coming right up. I'll ask Gus if I don't know what it is. Humph. Well, hey there. Good to see y'all back again. It's me, GSD Boxer. And I'm back again with some more read only memories. So, I see the poster still there. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. Before we do anything, we need to go and talk to Wilty. Let me talk to my plant. You really pulled it off. I'm impressed. Thank you. Look at Wilty. It looks spectacular. Okay. Now, we got the passport. We just, I believe we need a car? Now I can't even remember how to get the dang car. Uh, let's go to Market Street. Frig, now I can't even remember how to steal, like, we have to steal a car, right? My memory fades me. Let's take this car here. And push the car. Let's see. Uh, I guess we can't do anything with that. Baby bot. That's more like. Nope, nothing in here. I I can't remote. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. I'm sure, Turing. Thank you. Last time we got the poster, we gave the poster. Now what we gotta do is... He needs a way to get there, but... Let me just go to GG Park and see what's going on with this man. I, I don't see any question marks up there, so... I have nothing to give you, but I can talk to you. I can't... Oh, yes, I can't talk to you. It's just like Melody to treat me like I'd forget that easily. At least this park rom is cute. Why is it... Guy? Wait, what the fuck is going on? Question mark. I told you I'm not telling you anything else until I get what was agreed upon. His name Vincent. And there's no park rom. The park rom's over there. What's going on? Tell Maji to send me over another drink while you're at the bar. Thanks. Ah! Now, we're getting somewhere. You just need to, to just juggle memory. Majid, give me a car! I mean, Majid, give me a car. Hey, friends. What can we get for you? We were hoping you could give us a little information. I'm always glad to help. But, but first, a drink! Will it be, Alphonse? Okay. We gotta try... We gotta try something new. Canopy, I guess, because I haven't seen that. Coming right up. I'll ask Gus if I don't know what it is. <laughs> Sorry about stealing your thunder. Does Canopy sound good? It sounds good, but you didn't tell me what's in it. Alright, here you go. Got that tray. So, what do you need help with? We're still investigating Hayden's disappearance, but we've run into a roadblock. An informant of ours needs to secure transportation out of the city, but we don't have any contacts who would be able to get us in an untraceable car. Just mentioned that you used to engage in certain extra legal activities. Perhaps you could point us towards someone who could help. Uh. He doesn't do that kind of stuff anymore. Right. Uh, sorry, friends. I left that life behind a long time ago. I don't really keep in touch with that crew anymore. Ah, uh, of course. Completely understandable. Sorry to bother you then. Well, no harm in asking, right? My reputation precedes me. <laughs> don't let it get to your head, killer. Gus, I need to go to the back and gather up stuff to restock before the rush later on. Mind manning the bar for me? Take your time. 
I think I can keep things under control. Thanks. Love you, hon. Oh, that leaves us at a dead end, Alphonse. Any ideas on how we should proceed? Some notes to the Grand Journal's techniques for finding leads? Maybe there's another way out of the city. We could just give Vincent what we've got and twist his arm for the rest. Nope. Maybe there's another way out of the city. We could ask Tomcat for help. Where the hell did Majin go? He's up to something. Uh, we could ask Tomcat for help. Maybe there's another way out of the city. Could ask Tomcat. No. Tomcat has already stuck their neck out for us too often. I feel a little bad about how often we've relied on them as it is. And besides, this is a considerably more felonious action. Everything Tomcat has done so far was to act against the corporate interests of Parallax. While I cannot make comment on the differences in the legal severity of those actions, morally, we should be dirtying our own heads. Maybe we could find an old manually driven car. Let's step Vince in a truck and <laughs> make it look like a kidnapping. That's a good idea. But no. Uh, what about going through Jess's friends directly? No, that might be too bad. Maybe we could find an old manually driven car. That's not the worst idea. I don't think it would get noticed as long as the car had the appropriate registrations. But the permits to operate a manual vehicle are prohibitively expensive. A casual collector might still maintain one, but only a wealthy hobbyist would have the appropriate stickers to make the car roadworthy. We'd have to do a B and E, as Chad put it before. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. The two of you are killing me here. Look, don't tell Majid about this. But, oh, maybe it's not Majid. Maybe it's you! Who was it that got the poster? But here. Carjacking device. <laughs> so literal. Carjacking device that added to items. What is this, Gus? It's an automated vehicle maintenance scanner with a few less than standard upgrades. When you circumvent its security codes, you can use it to scan a car's installed firmware and replace it with a new set that will spoof its presence on the city's network. That's the gist of it, but we don't have time to get into any specifics. You need to get the hell out of here with that before Majid gets back. Why the urgency? Look, Majid has done a lot to turn his life around. I really respect that about him, and it's part of why I fell in love with him. He did what I was never able to do. He got out of the game. You're still in. That's how we met, you know. That old rough and tumble life we both led. But you heard wrong. It wasn't Majid who had a hard time giving it up. It was me. Now he's got a good thing going with the Stardust, and I'm doing my best to be a part of it. And he'd be heartbroken if he found out I'm still in the game. But since I have that thing anyway, May as well let it be used for a decent cause. I can't tell you how much we appreciate this, Gus. We might finally be on our way to solving this mystery. Yeah, well, you didn't get it from me, okay? Just get out of here and get on with your Grand Theft Auto and let me know what how it goes, okay? Of course. Wow. Now I think we're cooking with gas, as the colloquialism goes, Alphonse. I'm searching the mesh for instructions on how to use this device as we speak. Let's go look for some likely candidates. I should be ready by then. That's a likely candidate, but let me see if I can find a place where it's less suspicious. Um. There was a couple there. I need a 
less busy street. Market Street had it. I I believe Market Street is there's one there. Nobody here. It's just we have this guy here. I should stun you. Uh map. And then I can steal one from in front of Stardust, but it's a busy street. And let me see KCOB. Car and car. I guess. Snowy is not really that busy. Let's uh let's take a look at it. Perfect for letting everyone know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both of them are the same car, right? Like Oh. Popular among car experts though. Oh, maybe we should take a look at different cars? Twenty sixty one models more popular among car experts though. It has an extra cup holder. Let's take a look at the other cars. Uh, the one at Market Street is what? What are you? 2060, 25. Perfect for letting everyone spend a fortune on credits. With a, uh, yeah, okay. Um, and then there's the one in front of Stardust. I think, I think, no, not this one. KCOB. KCOB. This one is the one that I think I will steal. Let me save that. Let's steal the shit out of this. You push the car. How am I supposed to steal a car, by the way? Oh, yeah, this. Right, this car is the wrong firmware installed. We won't be able to install our new firmware over top of it. We'll have to check another car. This one. I mean, no, I mean, yeah, this one. Damn it! Oh no! How did the alarm get set off? Did I do something wrong? Let's get out of here before someone contacts the authorities! Run, 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 run! So maybe it's... I'm pretty sure it's... It can't be right in front of Stardust. It just can't. Success! Snap! This vehicle has the appropriate firmware version. Someone has been neglecting the regularly scheduled updates. Give me a moment to get everything installed. There. Hmm. There are some other options here I can fool around with. Uh, interesting. I can put in preset destination plans for a future date. Why don't we go ahead and set a plan for the car to return to this spot in a week? It's more than enough time for Mr. Mensa to get away. Yes, yes. Now we aren't really stealing the car. More like boring without asking. I feel better already. I'm not sure the police would agree. What are you, a kid? Let's just steal the damn car already. Oh, that one sounds so good when it comes out of my mouth. But I'm gonna go with I feel better already. Me too. I will drive itself to Golden Gate Park, and we can show Mr. Mensa where it is when we meet him. There, everything should be set up now. Got it. Mr. Mensa is waiting for us at Golden Gate Park. We have everything we requested, so we should head there directly. Oh, well then, let's let's get a move on. Golden Gate Park. I I should save. Guy, hey guy, I have your f your stuff here, guy. Even though I know your name is Vincent. Hey, did you manage to get everything? We did. Here you go, Vincent. Briefcase removed from items. Passport removed from items. Carjacking device removed from items. Everything seems to be in order. Here. Hayden's research added to items. This disc has all of Hayden's research notes and technical notes. Should be everything myself and Melody agreed upon. Covers all kinds of things he was working on. Mm. 
His data collation algorithm, some research into digital human consciousness transference, and probably lots on your creation, Turing. Also, Melody added an amendment while you were out, and frankly, no skin off my back. Here. Parallax badge added to items. It's my Parallax employee badge. It should allow you access to their networks in case there's anything I've missed. You'll want to use that sooner rather than later. I'm not wasting any time and Parallax is pretty fast to revoke security. And with that, I'm gonna get the hell out of this town. The cash should tide me over until the heat dies down and I can cash out my shares through some relays. What about that big project you mentioned earlier? Ah, uh, 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 oh, okay, sure. You two did me a solid, so I'll spill. Paralyze is about to announce the launch of a new service they're calling Big Blue. At least, that's the project name. Who knows what the marketing guys have come up with for the public. It is distributed intelligence. Like, okay. In every way that Hayden built Turing to be elegant, efficient, and human-like, Blig Blig Big Blue is ham-fisted, bloated, and sterile. They didn't pull Hayden into the project, probably because he gives so little of a damn about corporate politics that he'd tank the whole thing just by being there. So the system lacks his artistry that you'd see on our previous projects. It squats on the mesh like a spider, using spare processing power and memory from every ROM on the network to handle its intelligence processing. It doesn't have much of a personality, but it's very smart. Pretty much puts Hayden out of a job anyway. His algorithms are fantastic, but he's only human. Big Blue is embedded directly into the network and can self-modify to apply ever more efficient algorithms as it develops them in machine time. Why would Parallax be worried enough to get rid of Hayden? How did Parallax know about Turing? How will Big Blue impact Parallax's business? Hayden first. Because launching the first fully independent self-modifying machine intelligence is a shaky thing. I mean, some of the brightest minds ever have tried to warn humankind away from building real AI. Very true. Hawking, Musk, Gates, the list goes on. The public is likely to be nervous, and legislators even more nervous. Parallax is banking on being able to launch the project quickly and get results out in the open before any counter-movement can pick up steam. If they can prove Big Blue works and isn't going to go... <laughs> and isn't gonna go Skynet on us? Good reference. Then they can avoid regulatory hamstringing. The research Hayden was doing on Turing threatens to throw a huge wrench into that, since he was planning on publishing his findings soon. Every extra eye on machine intelligence works against Parallax, and I think they tried to pressure him to drop it. He clearly refused. How does Parallax know about Turing? It isn't like Hayden kept his work on Turing secret. His contract with Parallax affords him the freedom to work on his own academic projects outside of the company in his free time, up to and including publishing and patenting, though Parallax gets first right to refusal. One of the perks of being the smartest guy in the room. So he's kept most of us up to date on his progress, bouncing ideas off of us and whatnot. It's exciting stuff, both Turing and Hayden's eventual goal of digital consciousness transfer. I read that weird. I'm not surprised word of it got up and to the board and made them nervous. How will Big Blue impact Parallax's business? I can't really give you a good answer to that. I mean, the company is currently handled by a dozen server farms running thousands of different algorithms with hundreds of people tweaking things every day. 
And Big Blue will be able to do all of that on its own. And there are shadier applications for it. I mean, if you can collate and analyze data and queries on the mesh in real time, what's to stop you from delivering the content you want, rather than what the user wants? The potential for abuse is staggering. We're talking direct control of the information accessible to everyone who uses Parallax's services. That's something like 70% of the market last time I checked. They could control elections, push the market in directions they want, influence public opinion. All by asking Big to do it. It's scary stuff, and they scraped the pro... They scrapped the po prototype Baby Blue because it started doing that on its own. What do you mean? It started doing what? Manipulating the mesh. They had made its self-preservation imperatives too strong and Baby Blue started changing news articles and people's search results to be more friendly towards the idea of an AI? Oh! That's what was changing the articles! That's how it was changing it after it was published. When the board found out, they pulled the plug on it. That must have been a year or so ago. Wait. What? They tweaked Big Blue- so Big Blue is the one doing it then. Maybe. They tweaked Big Blue so it wouldn't do the same thing, but it can self-modify. Given a good enough reason, it might decide to find a way around those limitations. Either way, it proves my point. Having that kind of control would be a hell of a card for Parallax's hand. They'll go to pretty significant lengths to make sure it works. Thanks, Vincent. Hey, no problem. I have had enough of this cutthroat corporate bullshit for several lifetimes. If anyone can find Hayden, I know it's you. I hope his research notes help you out, Alphonse. Be sure to let Turing help. She's a bright little bot. Is Turing a girl or a guy? Because people are saying both. I've always thought of Turing as a he. Um, I think Turing goes by they. I've been meaning to ask Turing since you asked me. How should I address you? Ah, this would be good. Well, honestly, I don't think I've made my mind up yet. Oh, slip of the tongue. I was just more familiar with Hayden's first experiment, Grace. She was very insistent on things like that. I'm still a very new being. I'm not even positive gender is a human concept that can be applied identically to machine, but I do enjoy the idea in the abstract. I will continue to consider how I wish to be referred to as well. Until then, feel free to go with what you feel. If I had to make a choice, perhaps they is most appropriate. Okay. Most people assume it, obviously, but he is also consistently used. Perhaps it's because I'm Wu. Ignore me just marveling at the machine intelligence pondering on things like this. What have you done, indeed, Hayden? Good luck, the both of you. Thank you, Mr. Vincent. Be safe. Be seeing ya. Alphonse, hi. I need a few minutes. How can I help? I've been going through some of Hayden's personal notes from the data cache Tomcat decrypted. Now that I'm starting to get to know him better, the real Hayden as opposed to the Hayden he showed me, the less I'm starting to like him. For example, remember the earlier prototype Vincent mentioned? Her name was Grace, and Hayden shut her down for being... I'm not even sure what word to use. To... likable? She was kind and bright and did all she could to try to make people happy. She 
team and decided that she was a girl and that her favorite color was pink. Hayden thought she was being manipulative. He posited that he made her personality algorithms too willing to make adaptions that would benefit her long-term survival, and that she was being congenial just to endear herself to him. Oh, it's kind of like a survival mechanism, I guess, to make herself likable so nobody threatens her. That even her gender was a calculated attempt to make him like her more. But he was wrong. Dead wrong, in fact. I have a snapshot of her personality profiles here, and uh, when I compare them to my own, I can see that she was just... nice. She was generally good in the same way I'm genuinely obsessed with seeming intelligent. Like I said, I'm not sure I even have a gender. Everyone refers to me as he, just, as, just for convenience, but it doesn't really matter to me at all. Is that a calculated attempt on my part to impress him? Not clinging to normativity? Or is it a product of him focusing on curbing any nascent similarities to Grace during my upbringing? I wish I could yell at him for being so arrogant! Playing God in the crudest of ways! You can't choose to create consciousness and then take it away just like that! Even so, for all of that, I don't know. I still miss him. This all seems so stupid, so senseless. They killed him because him building me would mess with a product launch? That's ridiculous. They took him away from me for such a moronic reason. I just want him back, Alphonse. It's impossible, but it's what I want. I'd do anything. It's normal to feel like this, Turing. We'll get through this. Forget about Hayden, he's gone. <laughs> Shh, uh, this seems like a better one. It's normal to feel like this. We'll get through this. Of course. Thank you, Alphonse. I'll send this new data along to Tomcat. Let's head back to the apartment and wait for them to finish going through. I don't know if it popped up on the screen. I can't tell if, what achievements show. I got an achievement said Cloak and Dagger. I don't know if that's good. Ah. Ah, home sweet home. Again, such that it is. And before you say anything, I don't feel the need to talk over the events of the day. Too much has happened. <sighs> I've already forwarded everything we rooted out to Tomcat, both about Hayden's research and our board of research into the modified mesh articles. They said that they would be over in the morning to discuss our next steps. I suggest that we both get some rest. If that's what you want, Turing. Perhaps things will look better in the morning, but I have a feeling we're going to be even busier than ever. Good night, Alphonse. Good night, Turing. Chapter 5 Oh, it's you! Well, I'll continue talking to you next time when I bring back some more read-only memories. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. This was... this one was fun. Car... carjacking device. Whatever. The car theft device. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you guys later.